Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I want to show you how I made some DIY witchy decor for my summertime altar. I'll be making a crescent moon shell wreath. Let's do some magical crafting. This was a fun and relaxing project to work on. It took me about 40 minutes to complete. Here's a quick roundup of the materials I used for this project. A glue gun and glue sticks, a small grapevine wreath, seashells, a small wired leaf garland, eyelash yarn in two colors of green, and two fake pearl beads. I'll link to some of the items I purchased for this project below. I had a set of small 8 inch grapevine wreaths on hand, so that's what I'm using today. You can use any wreath you have and any size. This 8 inch wreath is a bit too small for a door decoration, but I think a wreath like this is the perfect addition to an altar or sacred space. I'll put this wreath on my seasonal summertime altar to celebrate the beach, honor the ocean, and celebrate the deities of the sea and the element of water. I'm using a small leaf garland that has wire inside so that I can shape it and bend it. I used a wire cutter to cut a few 12 inch pieces of the greenery. I'm also using some very fine eyelash yarn in an olive green to wrap around the leaf garland to create a seaweed look. I just twisted the yarn around the garland and then I wrapped the garland around the wreath. I'm only putting it on the right side of the wreath, saving the left side for my crescent moon shell design. I used a bit of hot glue to secure the garland as well. I've been collecting seashells for a long time and my collection comes from all over the place. I purchased some of my shells online and I'll leave a link below to the exact shells I'm using in this project. I also have some shells that I've picked up off of nearby beaches over the years. And I even have some clam and mussel shells that I kept after a meal in a seafood restaurant. Seashells can be an inexpensive or free crafting resource and they're a great representation of the element of water on an altar or in a sacred space. I wanted to make sure that my crescent moon shape is somewhat symmetrical, so I started with the largest shell in the center and worked outward with smaller shells. I marked the ending points on the top and bottom with small pointy shells. Then I filled in the rest of the space with medium sized shells to complete the crescent moon shape. I think the most fun and relaxation came from trying to fit the shells into a crescent moon shape, deciding which shells were going to be used and which would not make the cut. And the placement and gluing was very relaxing to me. Until I ran out of glue stick in my glue gun, which seemed to happen a lot. This project takes a lot of hot glue because the grapevine wreath is not a smooth surface to glue onto so you might have to coat your shells a few times to build up the glue. Because I make jewelry, I happen to have some pearl beads on hand, so I decided to add a pearl inside of one of the smaller shells and then glue it on top of some larger ones. Watching this back, it's making me think of how fun it would have been to add more gems and jewels to the wreath. Perhaps stringing them on wire and wrapping them around. I wish I had thought of that in time to try it on this project. But now that I've come up with the idea, perhaps I'll incorporate more sparklies on my next decorated wreath or broom in another video.
Once I finished the shell moon, I went back to the wired garland and added another piece. Then I had a quick look through my green ribbons and yarns for some more seaweed-like fibers. I found a Kelly Green eyelash yarn that I think worked perfectly to add some more seaweed. The final touch to the wreath was to add one more pearl-filled shell. And the wreath is ready to decorate my summertime sea witch themed altar. I hope this video has given you a few fun ideas of how you might want to decorate a sea themed wreath for yourself.